Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So uh, today I am super excited because I am going to be showing you guys the new She and slash she glam foundation so if you guys saw a video that i did a few months ago i did a full face using only she glam makeup she glam is the sister brand or it's pretty much the same brand as shein shein is an extremely affordable clothing line you guys their app ugh, it's addicting okay super addicting they have cute clothes, shoes, jewelry, except like anything you can think of they have. So they recently launched a make makeup line and they recently, oh my gosh, can I speak? And they recently launched a new foundation. I've been testing this out for probably a week and a half and I have some thoughts on this foundation. So today I'm going to be doing a full review. I'm going to show you guys how the foundation looks on the skin and I'm also going to be doing a full day wear test and come back and show you guys how the foundation is looking maybe about seven hours into me having this foundation on. So I have some thoughts to share with you guys. I'm really excited because this foundation is super affordable. It's only $9 and the best part is that it's for all my oily skin girls out there. If you suffer from oily skin, this is a matte foundation and it has a velvet finish. So enough of that, I feel like I'm giving out too much information so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go ahead and jump in before we jump into the video i do want to thank shein for partnering with me for this video as always my thoughts and my opinions are completely my own you guys know that regardless if a video is sponsored or not i will always be 100 truthful with you guys so with that said they actually did start a new committee this is the she glam pretty committee and this foundation was actually the first product that they launched in their new committee and this was tested with around 200 people globally for a few rounds before they actually launched it and now that it's out you guys can test it out and if you do purchase the foundation you can post your thoughts your feelings on your instagram for a chance to win a 500 dollars gift card to shein like their app and their she glam future beauty products so i think that's a win-win because honestly you guys spoiler alert this foundation you are going to love it so Let's jump right into the product itself. So again, this is called the She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. I live for a good matte black packaging on the top. Um, it shows you the shades. So as of right now, I believe they have 14 shades available. They have 15 foundations available, which is not a lot. I, I know that. But hopefully, if you guys find a foundation that matches you, you guys, this is going to be your foundation. So I have three to show you guys. I have Golden, I have the shade Almond, and I also have the shade Sand. So I'm going to give you guys a swatch of each individual foundation just so you can get an idea of what it looks like on my skin tone. If you guys can relate to my skin tone. First of all, you guys, let me tell you. The packaging, when I first got this foundation, I was like, no way this is a $9 foundation. There's no way this is a $9 foundation. This feels like a Giorgio Armani Chanel, like a very luxe foundation, okay? So I'm going to show you guys. When you open it, it comes in a little velvet pouch for a $9 foundation. You open it, it has this beautiful glass uh, packaging. So I'm first going to swash swash i'm first going to swatch the shade golden i do have to say that i mix two shades i mix golden and sand to get like my perfect shade but i feel like this one matches me pretty well so that is the shade golden and it does have a little pump which we can totally appreciate this is the shade sand sand is like a tiny bit lighter so that's sand, and this is the shade um, Almond. Yeah. So that is the shade. 
golden sand and almond as you can see these two i feel like they go pretty well with my skin tone so those are the ones that i have been mixing i'm gonna go ahead and mix my two shades on my little face palette now something that i do have to warn you guys is that this foundation does oxidize i noticed that when uh, i wore it for the first time i noticed oxidizing on my skin which is why i like to mix both of these um, so just be aware, I would suggest for you guys to get maybe a shade lighter than what you normally use or to get two shades. I mean, they're only $9. So on this side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and apply it with my sponge. As you can see, like this is covering so much already. Honestly, I prefer applying this with a beauty sponge because it is so full coverage, but Oh my gosh, the way that it builds, the way that it goes into the skin, it looks so pretty. I've been having a lot of texture on my skin lately. I don't know why, what's going on with my skin. But I've been having a lot of texture and my skin when I was pregnant, it was doing so good. I think it was some products that I actually was trying out from Pixi. Pixi products always break me out all the time. But I am though trying out new products. But anyways, this foundation just looks so gorgeous on the skin. I love that it's not like too, too matte where it like powders up the skin. But it does wear so nicely. Oh, I love this. I love that it doesn't emphasize your pores. If you suffer from like large pores in this area, if you suffer from like textured skin, this is really going to just make the skin look like it has a filter on it. So just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you guys how it looks on this side with a brush. I'm just going to push that product into the skin. But I am going to go over it with my sponge anyways. Just so it absorbs excess product. So I wore this foundation for our Thanksgiving gathering and I mean I was out and about for eight hours. I was cooking, I was doing all these things. This foundation did not budge at all. And one thing that I've noticed is that this foundation actually looks better as you wear it throughout the day. Weird, I know, but so this is how the foundation is looking like. This is the side with the beauty blender as you can see. Like the skin just looks like you have a filter on and I've applied my regular primer that I've been using for months and months and months and then this is the side with the um, brush. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference. I feel like it wears really nicely with either a brush or a sponge. It just depends on your technique, what you like. I personally like a brush but it depends on my mood as weird as that sounds and i've been really into applying my foundation with a beauty blender so i'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the face off camera so you guys can see how it looks with like concealer powders and everything applied and then we're gonna do our little wear test i'll be back in about six seven hours and show you guys how the foundation is holding up but i will be back in just one sec I am back and I am at glam. <laughs> so I went ahead and popped on some lashes. I did bronzer, blush, highlight, setting powder. I didn't set my face because honestly with this foundation, you do not need to set it. But this is how the foundation looks with pretty much everything. My normal makeup routine, like doesn't it look flawless? Like my skin looks so pretty like pores who I do have some texture right here like I said my skin has been breaking out but honestly this foundation does hide your imperfections so much it just looks super velvety on the skin and oh my gosh I just cannot rave enough about this foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and go on about my day you guys we're actually about to go out and have some dinner so yeah i will check back in and we'll see how this foundation has held up so far but yeah see you guys in a minute i am back i know my hair looks a little bit crazy but the bun was hurting my head so bad so it is currently 7 23 p.m look at how cute my little lincoln and my little lonnie look i've been wearing this foundation for about six and a half almost seven hours i did just retouch my lipstick because i'm actually going back out but yeah 
guys, I'm telling you, this foundation is so long wearing. I do have to say that it does settle into the fine lines. So if you have like little fine lines in between your brows or like me, I have some wrinkles, fine lines, whatever you call them, right here in like my smile line. It does settle into that part. It could also be because you're a little bit heavy handed with your foundation, which I tend to be, but it doesn't really bother me because honestly, I can probably just like buff this out and I would be good to go. But as you can see, there's absolutely no shine coming through from my like oily skin, even though my skin isn't as oily anymore, excuse me it still looks so fresh it literally looks like i just put it on like an hour ago i definitely love this foundation and for nine dollars you really cannot Ooh, i almost dropped that so you really cannot go wrong like i said not only the packaging is it super luxe like literally this is something that if you saw at sephora you would think this was like i don't know like a 40 50 dollar foundation I love it. I absolutely love it and I have been wearing it non-stop and I will be wearing it non-stop because it's full coverage, it's breathable, it's lightweight, it's matte and it's long wearing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on this super affordable Shein slash She Glam foundation. You guys definitely check it out so you guys can enter the little um, She Glam committee in hopes to win a $500 gift card. Like how awesome would that be? Especially for um, Christmas time, like oh, $500, girl, I would go crazy on the Shein app. Like, do you guys know how much stuff I have saved on my card? Literally, probably about $500 because their stuff is super cute. So anyways, that is my cue to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my videos. I am currently uploading twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying blessed. I love you all. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.